Hello, Roosevelt. I'm Mrs. Avery, your principal. And I'm Mrs. Schaefer, your family resource coordinator. How you doing today, Mrs. Schaefer? I am doing all right. How about you? Great, thank you. Kind of loving this weather. It's not too cold. I'd like a little more sunshine, but you know what? At least there's not a ton of snow anymore. Right. We, wow, we got a lot of snow over break, didn't we? We did get a lot of snow over break. I hope you did some fun things in that snow. Maybe a nature walk, maybe a snowman, maybe sled riding, a snowball fight, whatever. Agreed. It was beautiful. And I enjoyed it from the inside, too. Yeah. <laughs> some hot chocolate. Well, as I get older, I like looking at it more than I like being in it, to be honest. For sure. So, Mr. Schaefer, we have a couple of really good questions from our students today I thought we would ask. What do you think? I'm excited. Let's let's have it. Okay, so Joseph Lopershaw in second grade wants to know how good are we at video games? Whoa. Well, Joseph, for me it depends what kind of video game. Like solitaire on my iPad, I'm great. I can do that all day, every day. But something like Mario Kart or Minecraft, not so good. I'm with you, Mrs. Schaefer. Video games are not my thing, but I'd be willing to try sometime. Always, always too, what's the word I want? You're never too old to learn something new. That was what, what I was looking for. Now we do have another question. Uh -oh. This is from Bryn Guba in fourth grade. Thanks for writing in, Bryn. She wants to know, can we do some more with the house system here at Roosevelt? And you know what, Bryn? We are. We are ready to bring those back. So when you return to school, you're gonna to start to learn more about your houses, be reconnected with the houses that you're in. And for those of you who are new, you're gonna find out which one's for you oh, real that's, soon. That's so exciting and so fun when you're new and you learn what house you're in. I'm very excited that we're gonna to get to go back to some of those house activities. Me too, can't wait. So Mr. Schaefer, I see you have a book in front of you. Tell me about this book. Well, I brought this book that says 2,000 Would You Rather Questions. And as you all know, sometimes I just eat lunch with a bunch of different kids just to eat lunch. And they always like my Would You Rather Questions. So I thought today you and I can ask each other a Would You Rather Question. I would love that. All right, so what am I have, have? Wait, I have a question. Okay. What if you don't want either choice? Well, I guess you could explain that in your answer. Okay. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Now it's just gonna be random. Do we know what random means? That means I didn't look ahead of time. I'm just gonna kinda of go like this and point my finger. Are we ready? Absolutely, I can't wait. Some of them could be a little funny. Some of them could be a little yucky. Oh, You ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Would you rather erase your past or change it? Would you rather erase your past or change it? That's a deep one. That is a very deep one. All right, how about if we have a, uh, what's, what could, a do-over? A do-over, oh, okay. Because I want to find a funny question, like would you rather eat worms or crickets? Uh, crickets. Was that, was that in the book or did you make up that question? Well, I made that up, but so you would rather eat crickets than worms? Yes, they're not slimy. That's, that's a good point. But then crickets crunch. Can oh. you imagine putting a cricket in your mouth in the crunch? But I do think I am going with crickets, but I have to eat it in one bite. All right, <laughs> you try. Okay, here we go. Would you rather never get a headache again or a stomachache again? Wow, a headache or a stomachache? I'm gonna go for myself. I would rather ne I would rather never get a headache again because headaches are harder on me than stomach aches. And sometimes I find it hard to do the things I need to do daily when my head hurts because I can't think straight. Um, so I'm gonna go with I'd rather never get a headache again. How about you? I'm gonna go with stomach ache because I feel I have some good strategies for how to calm and help myself when I have a headache, but I don't always know how to fix my stomach ache. All right, I like that. I okay, like can it. I do another one? You can. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is gross. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm scared. <sighs> Would you rather eat food out of a trash can or eat food with mold all over it? Oh, that's easy. Food out of a trash can. Me too. Because you, you can kind of look at it and see, because sometimes it's still in its package or it's just... 
you know, that expiration date where they say eat by, you know, January 7th and they throw it in the garbage at the end of that day. I'm okay with that. I couldn't agree more. In fact, you know what? This conversation is making me hungry, Mrs. Schaefer. I am very <laughs> hungry. <laughs> Well, Roosevelt, it's been fun today. We've enjoyed asking and answering some questions here, and we hope that you have a chance to maybe ask your friends at home or your family at home at the dinner table some of the questions we asked today. Well, should we sign off, Mrs. Schaefer? I'm ready. Until next week, be the best, best version, version of, of yourself. yourself. Hi, Roosevelt families. Happy 2021. This is a new year with new exciting experiences. Um, but today, I want to talk to you a little bit about feelings. So, I know a lot of you have some different feelings about things that are happening this week. Some of us are staying home, some of us are coming to school, and there's a lot of different feelings you can feel about that. You can feel excited and nervous. You can feel happy and scared. So today, I just want to remind you that it's okay to have a lot of different feelings at once. And I also want to remind you that these feelings, they could change from one day to the other. And it's all okay. Feelings come and go. And it's all on how you respond to them. If you're happy, that's okay. If you're feeling sad one day, that's okay too. So. In this changing time, just know it's okay to have a lot of different feelings. So keep feeling anything, it's all good. Thanks and have a super week. And now I would love to share with you a super exciting song that Mrs. Zook's students sang for us about Roosevelt. Take it away singers. Lights, camera, action! This song's name is Awesome School. Hey, I'm in a school that's awesome. The teachers are kind, they help us out. And our kind and awesome principal, I appreciate our teachers because they always help us out. They want to teach us and that's why I'm glad to be in this school. It's an awesome school. I learned a lot from this school since I came here until now. And our school name is Roosevelt. Bravo.